Welcome back to Sports Talk in the Man Cave. We are back one more time, and we're going to talk NBA to begin with. NBA. Game 6 coming up. Game 6. At Golden State. Like I called it, I'm, I'm, I'm calling the Raptors. I'm sticking with it. Raptors in 6. And I don't think this game is going to be close. I think uh, Golden State is going to come out a little down, seeing what happened to their star, knowing for a fact that he's not coming back You think all. they're a little worn down already? I, besides being worn down, I think their morale is a little bit down, seeing how serious Kevin Durant got, got injured. Yeah. I think it must be tough seeing your leader go down like that. Well, that's, a, that's a pretty serious injury. That's a very serious injury. He's probably going to be out like for a year or so, depending on nine months to a year. Damn. Um, nine months to a year. So that's basically it's, it's, all next season? That's basically yeah. all He'll of next season. He'll come back to the finals. He'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but, I don't think they're going to make it next year. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably not. No, and uh, I really don't like the shot selection that uh, Golden State is getting without uh, Durant. Um, I, what's going to have to happen, Curry's going to have to be able to drive in, get some easy layups so that they can open the outside shot. Because I don't know if you all noticed last game, every outside shot after uh, KD went down was very well contested. Yeah. Like Curry was throwing up with two guys on him. Uh, Clay, Clay, Clay even, the ones to, he made, even the ones he made at the end were pretty... Yeah, easy. they were contested. They're, yeah. very, they're not getting that wide open shot. Yeah. They need to penetrate and they need to get um, get easy yeah. baskets so that the outside could open up. And Clay has a quick release and um, it could happen. Does it just but it's very difficult that, that the Raptors are playing just as they look more confident, they look like the better team? They, they are right they, now. They That's are. amazing. Cause, but it's the Golden State style because if I were to say, oh, they're just throwing up threes. Well, Golden State just throws up threes. But the thing but is, the way they've, had, they've had those three guys consistently and it's hard to guard three guys. It's easier to guard two guys that shoot threes in all three. And just, and just like mm -hmm. the announcer said last time, oh, they're leaving uh, green open. Well, Green's gonna have to hit a shot. I, Other guys are gonna have to step up if they're gonna if they're gonna want to have a chance in this game because what, when when Katie's out, what's been lacking is their offense. They can't keep up with the offense of, of Toronto, which is weird to say because usually it's always the other way around. With and and another thing that I did want to bring up is that um, Draymond Green already has six technicals. Mm -hmm. He gets one more and he's out. So if, even if the game's close, uh, he's not gonna do that. Uh well well you how do you know what I'm gonna say He's not gonna you get know right now. I I think I think that he can't hold himself back I think that if the game is there's no if way. there's a huge lead he might even do it on purpose I think he is a type he would not do that oh you he's a team guy happen? he's a team guy you think he's gonna jeopardize any possibility of them winning a game seven because he's not there well he's I don't not know. gonna Let, do let's that. let's see maybe Toronto could. Click a switch there or something and... I think his technicals, he knows exactly when he's going to get a technical and he kind of doesn't care. So he's not going to go out and get one in this game. So Charlie, you're coaching Golden State. What do you do differently to try to get this game won? What I would try to do differently... Well, the defense has to be there. And now they were playing defense in spurts and they were playing great defense in spurts. But with, with this group that they have, you know, they can't just play in spurts. Their defense has to be there all game long, basically. They have to be able to drive in and get easy baskets. Um, their big men are going to have to get rebounds because they don't seem to have the, the length that Toronto has. So they're going to have to do a good job. Stop giving up second point opportunities. And the driving in and getting those layups and getting the free guy was, outside to get some easier the, threes how is going to be important. They need more ball movement in order to create those. It's not just, okay, drive in, get a layup. You, you can't just drive in and get a layup. No, if, but... If not everybody would do that. Because what they need Toronto, to do is more ball movement. If you saw when Toronto was successful, uh, they doubled up um, Curry in the backcourt. They doubled him up. Curry has to get rid of the ball. Well, if Curry has to get rid of the ball, he has to move and get the ball again. I mean, you already have two guys in the backcourt trapping him. I think they need more and ball movement, especially when they do that double. They do that double team. Okay, you move the ball quick. Obviously, it's four on three. Well, they're going to have to find if, a way. If they're, they're doubling they're, they're so gonna far have to find up, a way, on, they're going to have to find a way to, to get that open shot. They're going to have to find a way to get that open shot 
and penetration is the best way to do it. I, exactly. You have to you have to drive to the basket and then kick out, move the ball around. Out, yeah. You can't just expect to be able well, to Well, no, maybe it's not the, the first around. pass, but he does have to get in there and he does have to make some uh, layups well, they're, they're offense, and make sure that they have to guard him. Their mm-hmm. offense is not going to work if, if they just expect to, okay, give it to Draymond and then have Curry run around, screen, 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 and it's not going to no, work. No, that's not going to work. No, that's not going to work. They haven't changed that. I didn't say anything. Yeah, they can't do that. And they can't do that. And he's shooting from way beyond the arc, which he can, uh, but it's contested. There's a guy on the guy that's setting yeah. the screen for him, and there's another guy jumping up, and you know, it's... I think they need more team ball, more ball movement, and that's going to help. And what do you think the Raptors are going to do? Just continue doing what they're doing? Continue doing what they're doing. Doing what they're doing. They're playing like they're, a team. They're you'll, probably, they're playing great. you'll probably see more uh, trapping of Curry in the backcourt yeah. or putting two guys on him right off the bat because like Carlos said a while ago you it's a lot easier to take care of two than it is yeah. to take care of three. So this is game six and so uh, KD played for a while and then he got his Achilles torn so tell me what you well, think about that. He I think my conspiracy theory is that Conspiracy theory. Conspiracy theory. <laughs> the medical staff, the first time he got injured, the medical staff knew exactly what was wrong. It was never his calf. And they knew it was his Achilles, so they tried to hold him out as long as possible because it wasn't that serious. And he might have even been torn a little bit already. Uh, that's, that's yeah. well, I'll go on ahead and go later. So I think they, they were figuring out, okay, he, next year he's going to leave. This might be the last game. They're facing elimination. Let's throw him in there and get everything in camp from him. And let's risk it. They risked it, and it didn't pay off. Well, I know you have a doctor's uh, um, view of this, yeah. and your doctor's view is going to say doctors cannot do that. Uh, mm-hmm. But right. as soon, right? As, as, it, well, it, cool. I mean, it, it, it's high stakes, right? And you're going to play somebody only if they can play. Um, so you're going to hold somebody out if you think it's going to worsen the injury. If it gets to the point that. They can run, in this case, if it's the calf or the Achilles, and if they can run, stop, jump, you, you can probably play them. I don't know what he did to get ready to play, but from what the reports were, he was still limping around the previous game. Yeah. So that tells me he, he was probably not ready. was not ready to play. I, I, I don't think he was ready. Let, let, me, let me go on ahead and say, I saw, when I saw the first injury, I was watching the game with Gilbert, and when I saw the first injury, right away, I saw where he held his leg. It was not the calf. It was right below the calf. Yeah. And I believe that it, it was probably a high tear on the Achilles, and it wasn't a complete tear. And uh, I believe that they thought, you know, uh, yeah. it wouldn't tear. But I believe, right away, I told Gilbert, that's an Achilles. And, uh, and uh, I, I tend to agree that you should not play somebody if they're injured, he if was not. Their Achilles, you know, if it tears, it's gonna be over. So you agree the medical staff messed that one up, bad. Well, from from the outside looking in, you would have to say it could be that maybe he shouldn't have played. Uh, but once they do the exam on him and maybe he's showing them that he can play, then there's no reason for them to keep what, him out. What do you think? You think they're gonna make him go full speed game speed? Well, there's, it's impossible to go game speed in practice. First of all, you think they're gonna make him go full speed in practice? Oh, let's no. see if you can play. But they, they could have thought, I mean, if the <clears throat> MRI didn't show much there, and, and say anytime you sprain, strain, there's going to be there's little gonna be tears. tears. There's going to be tears. You know, oh, that's the way it is. Yeah, and putting putting both things together, putting both things together, is it possible? I'm just asking both of you. Is it possible, the doctor's perspective and the player's perspective, is it possible that they knew that there was a partial tear in the Achilles and they were keeping it from the public? Yeah, definitely. But I'm thinking both parties are, were in agreement that there was a partial tear, and they were keeping it from the public. I think no, KD, I... KD would keep it from the from the public, too. Because if you announce that you have a tear in your Achilles, there's no way you, there's no way you come back and play. If you keep it from the public, there's a possibility you come back and play. Well, and but you know, there's there's these tiny tears, and it makes it unstable, and so you put more stress on it. And you have a chance of tearing it. They right? gave him so how many days? Was it twenty nine? No. Do you think about it? That's a very high possibility that you're gonna put more stress on it in an NBA basketball yeah. game. Yeah, and you had to know that was gonna happen. They had to know that was gonna. That but was you know, the, gonna the, the 
the fact of the matter is that he could have not played here and come back next season, first game next season, tear it anyway. And tear it anyway. Yeah. Well, exactly. Because you know, would it heal on its own? Yes. And it's going to scar. But yeah. it heals on its own. It will heal. It's, and it's in 29 be, days, sorry. which is I, what I believe he had it for 29 days, was there any possibility that it got any better if it was yeah. a complete tear? Yeah. It, it got better, but it didn't get 100% better. It didn't, it didn't get 100%, 100 better. better. It's like anything. It's, it's, it's like a so, muscle so six, eight weeks. Do you, you know. believe that it could have been on the medical side that they agreed with the rest of the team and the player that it was a partial tear and they, he came back to play and it, just kept it from the public? Anything is possible and they could have even told him there's a chance that it might tear. And, and he could have said, yeah. But I'm it could have been that way. So it didn't have to be that the doctors were totally wrong. Right. But it's the doctor's job to tell him, no, you're not going to play. <clears throat> yeah, as a doctor, I, I think. Because all players are going to be I like, I'm going to play it, today. Right. Doctors tell him in the NBA and the NFL, no, you're not going to play. And right. that's it. That's the way it should be. That's the way. It, well, that's. that's the, yeah. That's well, it's right. sad to see him down for a whole I year. Think, I think this is going to turn into a big deal, actually. It might. You saw what happened with Kawhi and the medical staff. He didn't trust the medical staff for some reason in San Antonio. And he went to go get himself checked with an independent doctor. Mm -hmm. And I think this is going to become a big deal with the whole KD thing. because. So do you think this is going to put a question mark on all the team doctors? It might. I don't think so. No. I, I, I think it'll be fine. I, it's it's one incident uh, and it'll pass. Um, it's a big incident, but it's, it's one it, incident. It's huge. It, it happened to a huge player. In the NFL, don't tell me that they don't put kids, well, not, not only kids, Athletes back in that already had concussions. They do. What do they have to do in the NFL? The people that check them now for concussions, mm -hmm. do they work for the team? No. Exactly. No. Because they have no interest in the team. They need to do that. Yeah. They, they, have, they, they should get doctors that have no involvement with the team. Uh, and that will be a more fair judgment. Like, instead of their own medical staff. Exactly. Right. If it could, well, you have your own medical staff, but for big things like concussions in football yeah. and yeah. big tears like this or whatever it may be, yeah. have somebody outside. Mm -hmm. Consult. Yeah, yeah. that's and good. Th and that Kawhi did the right thing in checking himself out, I believe. But, yeah, but, yeah, the, but in Kawhi's case, didn't he say he also had the same thing, a bruise? And he's still. <laughs> yeah, he said it was a bruise. Yeah. Yeah. But it's it's that's the way it is. Uh, it's it's really hard uh, to keep some of these players out. I remember in San Antonio, um, it was Charles Smith, was it that used to play with the with the Spurs back in the nineties? Um, I think that's his name. And um, his knee was bad. His knee was terrible, and he still was out there playing. And even though they knew he had no knee left, things were different back then. Yeah. yeah. And now they they do keep him out, and they don't give him an option. But it's that, not up to that, there at all. But his career ended pretty soon after that. I think that was it. Probably, yeah. But, see, knees but uh, this 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 is. Terrible I think this is going to become a big deal. It, it's going to be. It's it's going to be a big deal. I would. You know, I probably will never get out to the public if it was a collaboration between the player and the medical staff and the team. But we'll it, it, I think it could have been a collaboration between them to let him play. And if it was that way, well, it, it is. It is. Who I think we'll never know. It was a we'll gamble to play. It we'll was, it was a gamble. And, they shouldn't, and you shouldn't be gambling. No. and, and Not got, with a whole year. No. Not, not with a career injury yeah. like that. He might not. Well, the good thing about KD's game is that he doesn't rely on just being explosive and getting to the basket too much because that's what it's going to affect the Achilles. Yeah. He, he can pull up in front of anybody and not even have to jump that high and still get over somebody. Yeah. yeah that's so true. his game's not going to be affected too much when he comes back. His game's jump shot. Maybe he comes back they, let's full hope, force. Let's, let's, yeah, let's hope that hard. he comes back full force. That, yeah. That's Because he's, he's such a great player. Now, let's, let's move on. Uh, let's talk... Uh, Let's talk about, I want to mention boxing just a little bit because I want I know Triple G just knocked uh, some dude out, knocked some guy out, and he might uh, he's aiming at Canelo one more time. And I thought last time he had beat Canelo. The second time? No, the, the first, first time. time. The first time. The first time I thought he beat Canelo, but they gave it a draw, right? Right. The second time I thought he lost. Like it wasn't. He can't. He's too slow for Canelo. Canelo. Can Canelo Canelo's getting better. Yeah, Can Can Canelo has definitely gotten better he moves great. over the years. The, uh, earlier on in his career, I would say, you know, this guy doesn't let his hands go. Oh, mm -hmm. he lets his hands go now. Yeah. And, uh, and he, he has moves a great punch. Oh, and he moves. Yeah, and he's gotten so much better. His defense is good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think, he, I think he moves too. He's too quick for Triple G. Triple G's punches are coming too slow and he sees them. And, and right now, Canelo is actually in his prime. Right now, because and Triple G's when, already. when he fought the... Uh, What's his face, man? Mayweather. Mayweather. He's too young. Oh, he no, too young. no. He was too young. And that was I the fight right before I was saying that he doesn't let his hands go, and I wasn't yeah. so impressed with him, but 
he's definitely gotten a lot better. Yeah, he's gotten better since then. I still don't think he would beat Mayweather right now. <laughs> hey, Maybe like not. Somebody. Yeah, no, I, mean, I don't think you'll beat him. No, mm-hmm. you, you're right. You're right. Yeah. I, I think I think Mayweather was. Just but there was a boxer good. that beat him early on. They gave it to Mayweather. So. Now I guess they, they didn't. I guess they didn't anyway, the rematch. No, rematch. no. Yeah, so it's September. Maybe you think. Uh, maybe they both want paydays. They yeah, both they want, want paydays. They're the biggest they? fight again. And and that who else be, is who else is kind of gonna fight anybody? Um, he just beat what Daniel Jacobs. He can move up to the heavyweights and fight Reese. Reese will take somebody's head off. <laughs> he <laughs> punches. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. Reese can take a punch from a big man. He could take that yeah. punch easy. Definitely. Uh, now, hey, I I just want to mention something. We have these shirts on right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Alpha mm-hmm. Cave. Alpha Cave. Jorge shirts. Romo. Thanks for the shirts. Shout so, out to my boy. Jorge Romo made these. And he's also going to oh, be making some other some shirts, right? Father's Day shirts. Father's some Day shirts. Father's Day shirts. We'll put a picture if y'all are interested. Yeah. Can we put a link or something? Yeah, we'll put a link. Yeah. Thank you so much for the shirts, man. We appreciate them. Thank you. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Nice job. And uh, let's uh, let's go to NFL real quick. Uh, Dak Prescott. They're still willing to sign him to a long-term deal. Mm. And no sign of uh, um, uh, Romo coming back yet, right? <laughs> no, <Sadly. laughs> no way out of ever again. No. I, I, I want Carlos to give his uh, opinion on the contract first. Okay, on Dak Prescott. On Dak Prescott, I don't think you break the bank for him. Now, Car- Carl Wentz, uh, Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz just signed a contract for what? Four years, one hundred and twenty-eight million, million, I believe. Like yeah. I don't think Dak Prescott is worth near that much. No. No, I don't think he's a Super Bowl caliber quarterback. The thing is, he's a starter. He just came off winning a division, and so are they going to pay him because he, he did that? He, he's he, won it twice. He's, he's won, won the, the division, division twice, twice with two out of three. probably the least amount of work a quarterback has to do. Yeah. Well, he puts a lot of yards in the, those legs. I mean, he runs and um, he, the the only thing is the long ball. But everything else is good. I think he should get a contract. He should get a good contract. I don't think maybe. And you have to see the contracts now for the quarterbacks. They're getting big contracts. Do you think he's better than Carson Wentz? Carson Wentz has a great team. Is Foles better than than him? Than Dak? Oh. I actually was about to say that. I think Foles is better than Dak Prescott. No, just because of the team he was playing with. What did Foles do before? Foles did actually pretty good. Foles has always been a, a productive quarterback. Yeah. But, I mean, I he mean, didn't do good with the he, Ray, Where was he? Uh, with he won the Super Bowl. Well, he won it with yeah. the Eagles. When yeah. Wentz went down, he's done very good when Wentz goes down. And I thought Cowboys, the Cowboys had a better team. But, obviously not. Yeah. So, I don't I mean, think Dak, I don't think you break the bank for Dak. And if he wants to get mad at He's going to get a good contract, and I think he has to get a good contract. The guys, I, I would the guys play just him getting, out this year. I would play him out this year. I wouldn't give him a new contract yet. I would just let him play the year. What does he do for his contract, isn't it? This, after no, this after year. This year? This year. Yeah. Well, that's what they have to do. They have to go but, and... But typically they're doing the year before they do the contracts. Mm-hmm. And so what it's I, safer for players, too. So. Yeah, what I want to see is I want to see this guy produce, actually, and, and do something good. Um, because, like I said before, I think the defense has helped him along. And what, no. the only thing good about Dak that I see is is he is kind of clutch when it's close. When he when he's running. When he's running, yeah. Yeah. He runs and he gets that first down in the or he gets that touchdown right. and you're close. Right. But that's about it. Like Yeah, I, I believe that if his offensive line is gonna hold up and he has these good little running backs behind him, it doesn't matter if the number twenty one is there or not. Yeah. Uh they can do well. I think they kind of work to get a receiver around with him there, and they they'll do all right. They're gonna have the short, and maybe just be ready for that long ball now. Won't be too shy on throwing the long ball. Yeah, yeah. I I don't know. I, I hope you're right that he's gonna do okay and stuff like that. We'll and see. the thing is that he should know it's all right for me to throw interceptions. I think the reason he doesn't throw the long ball a lot is because he believes that they're well covered. You know, sometimes you have to give your receiver the chance, the opportunity to catch the ball. Covered. That's the thing. I think, <laughs> yeah, he, he can be open. He thinks he's covered. <laughs> okay, you don't like it. Dump off. <laughs> no, I, I, like, I like the Cowboys, and I just want them to have a good quarterback, okay. dude. That's yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, I see. I don't see. break the bank for him. Don't break the bank. I agree. Yeah, don't break the bank list. for anybody, actually. You know, for Zeke. But he's going to get a nice big contract. 
Yeah. And uh, staying with the NFL Raiders, going to Hard Knocks. You all, you all watch Hard Knocks? No. That so was in the years before, was it? <laughs> they, <laughs> they always have it every year, man. Last year was the Browns. Yeah. This year should have been the Browns. This year should be with the Browns. Baker they Mayfield awesome with man, Odell yeah. Beckham. But we get the Raiders. But the Raiders, yeah, the Raiders are going to do something good this year. They got Anton- Antonio Brown. This is their last year before they go to Vegas? Yeah. Or this is the year that they go to Vegas? No, this is their last, this year. Is their last year before they go I to Vegas. I kept on thinking the Chargers were going to go to Vegas, but it's going to be the Raiders. No, the Raiders, the Raiders. The Raiders are going to go Vegas. Lucky guys, man. I know. That's going to be nice. Good luck you you all want to do one uh, thing just for Gilbert? How about uh, the AD? The chase for AD ah. between the Lakers and the Celtics. <laughs> well, actually, I just got a text message right now. Fuck up, up. So Supposedly, AD told his told his agent to get him to LA. That it's nothing personal really? against Boston. Yeah. Wow. But the team. Wait, was that, was so that text from Gilbert? <laughs> no. <laughs> he's, t- he's telling that to his. But the team really has to say whoever offers the better players, and. Uh, well, like like it's same thing with that happened with Kawhi. If if everybody knows that if you if you trade for him, he's gonna be there for one year anyway because he's a free agent next year. Why would you trade for a guy that you know is gonna leave? Don't bring up another topic. Is Kawhi gonna stay if they win a championship? But yeah, I, I, true. I mean, Look how he turned out for Toronto, right? Yeah. yeah. Man, so man. so Lucky. it's it's a whole other story. But I think it's a two team race, and I believe. AD had already said, "I'll stay in Boston." Stay in Boston. Yes, I believe I read a one of those little things that comes out there, and I read it, and mm-hmm. that he said, "I'll stay in Boston." So if Boston would trade for him, he would stay. So I, I really don't know. So what's Boston gonna give up for him then? Tatum and they're gonna give up everything, all their future. Well, that's what the Lakers have to do: give Not up. Not give up guys. everything. They're gonna give Ingram. They're going to give their fourth round pick and maybe a couple of their unimportant guys. Well, well New Orleans is going to have a nice young team enough. and that's that can explode in the future. Yeah, so yeah. Gilbert, I think they have a 50-50 chance. I um, think it's a little better than 50-50. Yeah. 51-49. My, my bet would be he's going to the Lakers. <clears throat> Me too. Yeah, I think he's going he's to the Lakers. He's going to end up a Laker. With, and we'll they'll they get the fourth list. pick from the Lakers. Yeah, they're going to get the fourth pick and Ingram. And then who and they have the, they have the first pick as well, right? So they have the yeah, first pick, first and fourth. So they're gonna get Zion, Jeez. and then a fourth pick. Lucky, lucky guys. And Ingram, I, I would trade them. So they're gonna have Zion and Ingram, which are two good young if, guys. If they get, and then that fourth pick. <coughs> man, they're good. <laughs> that team, that's crazy. That, that team's gonna that's be crazy. Yeah. In the future, the Lakers are looking more than fifty-one forty-nine now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now thinking of that, oh you're right. Oh my god, man. you're right. Man, that, that's gonna be a good team. I'll a be good watching young them team. play. And you know, just with Zion being there, people are going to oh, watch yeah. that team. The name's going to be there already. People yeah. are going to go watch. You know, he's just to let him take stuff tickets to watch. are going to be mm-hmm. sold, and he's going to be there. Tannies are going to be torn and yeah. all that good stuff. <laughs> they, <laughs> they're, they're, nice. they, they built up Zion this year. Tons. Like, I, I don't think I'd ever seen anything like that. He's a good Building player. up the number one prospect so much. LeBron so, James. We talking about you never seen anything like that. LeBron yeah. James. Did LeBron James come out of high school? But yeah, yeah but they were making a huge deal since he was like a sophomore. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, yeah. since how long ago was that? I had magazines. Like 15 a years ago? big deal and then, and then playing his uh, high school games and all that yeah. stuff, man. Yeah. Jesus. So, yeah, this this is a big deal. That they're they're going to be a good young team if they make Hopefully that he treat. doesn't yeah. uh, if they make disappoint. Yeah, you, you, you get rid of the people that don't want to be there is, is a good move. I don't care what team you are, man. Get rid of them. Yeah, if you don't want to be there, get rid of them. Yeah, get rid of them. Get you rid don't of want them. them. You, don't, then, you don't want to want to be and there. And in this case, they get rid of them. They're going to they're gonna get some good stuff yeah. coming their way. So it's like, mm, it's going to be nice. For both teams, actually. Yeah, yeah. We would have enjoyed your input, Gilbert. Yeah, but Gilbert. You're a good nice, babysitter. Man, but that's okay. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, is that any other topics you all want to cover today? That's it. That's about it. All right. Alpha Cave, thank you for the shirts once again. Jorge Romo, he's selling stuff for Father's Day. Awesome. You guys take care. Later. See you later.